Hello, my name is Stephen M. Jackson, and I serve as the district social worker and McKinney Vento liaison for Wayne Township Schools. I attended Kentucky State University, a historically black college and university located in Frankfort, Kentucky. I earned my bachelor's degree in political science and government from Western Kentucky University. I've earned my master's degree in social work from Indiana University, Purdue University at Indianapolis. And I completed the building level administrative licensure program at Purdue University. The reason why I got into education is very simple. I look at education as something that can never be taken away from you. And therefore, it is considered to me as the great equalizer. Today's discussion in Black Excellence centers around Elder Watson Diggs, one of the founding members of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Elder Watson Diggs was born in Hopkinsville, Kentucky on December 23, 1883, and was the eldest son of three children. He received a one-room education in Louisville, Kentucky. Following graduation from Indiana State Normal School, which today we call Indiana State University, in the spring of 1908, Elder Watson Diggs enrolled at Howard University in 1909. Diggs then enrolled at, at Indiana University in the fall of 1910 and was the first African American to graduate with an AB degree from Indiana University School of Education in 1916. He subsequently earned his master's degree in education from Howard University in 1944. Elder Watson Diggs was an educator who held teaching positions and served as principal at public schools throughout Indiana. When the United States made its declaration in World War I against Germany, Elder Watson Diggs resigned as principal and entered the nation's first black officers training camp at Fort Des Moines, Iowa, and was commissioned as first lieutenant. After serving in Europe in, with the 368th Infantry, he rose to the ranks of captain in the Army Reserve Officers Training Corps. Elder Watson Diggs was also past commander of the American Legion. And subsequent to the war, Elder Watson Diggs was instrumental in having the Indiana Constitution amended to permit black enlistment in the Indiana National Guard. Elder Watson Diggs was an active member of the First Baptist Church of North Indianapolis a past commander of the Edward S. Galliard Post of the American Legion, a member of the History Committee of the Indianapolis Public Schools, a member of the Leadership Training Committee of the Boy Scouts of America, a worker in the YMCA, and during the later stages of the war, served on the Executive Committee of the USO. Based on the hostile attitude and circumstances faces facing Blacks, at Indiana University, Elder Watson Diggs decided to establish a fraternity on campus to give African Americans support and sanctuary based on high moral ideals and the purpose of achievement. On January 5th, 1911, the fraternity then became known as Kappa Alpha Nu, possibly as a tribute to the black students of 1903, the Alpha Kappa Nu Greek Society who preceded them at Indiana University. Kappa Alpha Nu began uniting college men of culture, patriotism, and honor in a bond of fraternity. Primarily under the efforts and leadership of the calm, methodical, and philosophical Elder Watson Diggs, and the critical and scholarly Byron K. Armstrong, and the idealist John Milton Lee, the Kappa Alpha Nu fraternity was founded. The name was later changed to Kappa Alpha Psi. Elder Watson Diggs was instrumental in assisting in designing the coat of arms, assumed responsibility for preparing the, preparing the initiation ceremonial forms, completing the fraternity's constitution, and took a course in Greek heraldry and mythology to ensure the fraternity was rooted in authenticity. He was one of two founders who pawned his watch to pay for the uh, fraternity's incorporation fee. 
Additionally, he established the Kappa Alpha Nu Journal, the first periodical of any national black college fraternity. He served as Grand Polmark for the first six years of the fraternity's existence. He also served as Grand Board Member and as Grand Historian. He also established several of the initial undergraduate chapters in addition to the in Indianapolis, Indiana alumni chapter. Elder Watson Diggs was awarded the first past Grand Polmark's medal and the first laurel wreath. He also assisted in writing the 1928 handbook of Kappa Alpha Psi. The Elder Watson Diggs Award, the second highest award available to celebrate a member's achievement or service to the fraternity, is dedicated in his name. The Elder Watson Diggs Memorial at Indiana University was constructed in his honor in 1962. Elder Watson Diggs died on November 8, 1947. Following his death, School 42 in Indianapolis, Indiana, was named in his honor where he served as principal for 26 years. Elder Watson Diggs is laid to rest at Crown Hill Cemetery in Indianapolis, Indiana. It is with great honor that I am able to share with you a brief overview of the accomplishments of Elder Watson Diggs, one of the founding members of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Yo.